What's going on everybody, Jesse here, and welcome back to another Unreal C++ Fundamentals video. In today's short video, we'll discuss includes, forward declarations, circular dependencies, and a brief discussion on what the preprocessor and compiler do. An include declaration is a way of telling the compiler to use the contents of another file in the current file. It's usually done by using the hashtag include directive, followed by the name of the file in quotation marks or angle brackets. In Unreal, you can also use forward declarations in the header file to reduce the number of included files and speed up the compilation process. Forward declaration is a way of telling the compiler that a class or a function exists without providing its full definition. It's essentially a promise you're making to the compiler that the class exists and will be included in the source file. Forward declaration is usually done by using the class or struct keyword, followed by the name of the class or struct. By forward declaring in header files, you can avoid circular dependencies and improve the readability of your code. When forward declaring, you can either declare before the class declaration or you can declare in line. The choice of which to use is yours with the only difference being, if declared before the class declaration, you only need to forward declare once, whereas if declared in line, only a declared line is valid. For simplicity, I prefer my forward declarations outside of the class specifier. A circular dependency occurs when two or more files depend on each other, either directly or indirectly, creating a loop that cannot be resolved by the compiler. For example, if file a class.h includes file b class.h, and file b class.h includes file a class.h, then there is a circular dependency between the two files. Forward declaration in your header files is a way to avoid circular dependencies because forward declarations tell the compiler that a certain name exists, but it does not provide its full definition. The preprocessor is a program that processes the source code before it's compiled, while the compiler is a program that translates the source code into machine code that can be executed by the computer. The preprocessor performs tasks such as header file inclusion, macro expansion, and conditional compilations. The compiler performs tasks such as lexical syntax and semantic analysis, intermediate code generation, code optimization, and code generation and linking. While these are two separate tools, they work together to execute the code. The preprocessor modifies the source code for the compiler, and the compiler translates the preprocessed code into machine binary code. When the preprocessor is including the included header files, it comes across the include guards or the pragma wants directive, which prevents inclusion of the same file. For example, if class A includes class B and class C, while class B also includes class C, the include guards and the pragma wants directive prevent class C from being included multiple times in class A file. Hope you guys found this quick video useful. If you did, consider smashing that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing while you're down there liking it and hit that bell to be notified whenever a new video drops. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below or consider joining the Discord channel to get personal assistance by me as well as the community. Again, thanks for watching and until the next one, peace.